everyone, it's Soil Merchant from Tektar Solution. In this tutorial, we are going to learn Excel protection techniques that includes file level protection, workbook level protection, cell level protection, and sheet level protection. So let's get ourselves into Microsoft Excel to learn more about these techniques. Be with me. In file level protection, you restrict your users to open or modify the workbook unless correct password is provided. These passwords are case sensitive and can be applied at the time of saving your workbook. So let's learn how we can save this book one with the file level protection. For that, go to file, save, browse, provide the location where you want to save the file, provide the name of the file. Let's suppose I am providing the name of first level and now before clicking on save button, you have to click on this tools option. Click on it and here you find journal option. Now, you can provide either of the password or both of the password. You can provide password to open your workbook or you can provide password to modify your workbook. At this point of time, I am providing both the password. So password to open, password to modify. Now I have to reconfirm my password to open and then I have to reconfirm my password to modify since I have provided both the password. Press OK and now save. The workbook has been saved with the name of first level. Let's close it and now we can open it from the file menu and here we have first level workbook click on it and here it asks us to provide password to open and then for password to modify we can provide password to modify to enable modification inside this workbook or we can open this workbook as read only so this time i am providing password to Modify my workbook, press OK, and here I am back in my first level workbook. Now, to remove the first level protection, go to File, Save as, Browse, select your file, and now you have to click on Tools again, General option, and now you can remove your password from this dialog box, press OK, Save. Yes, close the workbook, go to file, again open this workbook and this time the workbook is open without asking the password to open and without asking the password to modify. In workbook level protection, you restrict your users from inserting any additional worksheet or deleting any existing worksheet. Like if I right click on this sheet, you can insert any new, new sheet or you can delete this existing sheet. And now I want to restrict users from doing this action. For that, I have to apply workbook level protection. For that purpose, go to your review tab and here you find protect workbook option inside protect group. So click on it and now provide your password. But remember, this password is case sensitive. Press OK. Confirm your password. Now, if I right click, I can't insert nor I can't delete my existing worksheet.
in cell level protection, we restrict users from accessing cell. This attribute is known as locked cell. We can also restrict users from accessing formula bar. This attribute is known as hidden. To apply cell level protection, you can choose either of the four options. Number one, select your cell. In the home tab, you will find this number group and having this arrow icon. Click on it and here you find protection tab. Option number two, select your cell, right click and here you find format cell option. Again, you have this protection tab. Option number three, select your cells and press control one on your keyboard. You will find this protection tab. Option number four, select your cells in the home tab. In the cells group, you have this format option. Inside this format option, you will find this format cell option. Click on it. Now, when this dialog box is appeared on your screen, by default, all the cells are marked as locked cell. To make the selected cells available to the users, uncheck this lock option and press OK. Now I want my users to not see this formula inside my formula bar. That means I want to hide or I want to restrict access of this formula bar, right? So for that purpose, select the total cell, press control one or any of the option you like and enable this hidden option. Press OK. Now when the cell level properties are set by user, it will activate only when sheet level production is activated. Sheet level protection, you apply certain action like you allow users to insert new row, format the cell, delete the row, or you can restrict users to perform the same task on a specific sheet. This is known as sheet level protection. To apply sheet level protection, go to your review tab. And inside this review tab, you have this protect group. And in this protect group, you have this protect sheet option. Click on it. And in dialog box, you will find multiple options which are user friendly and can be understand easily. So you have to choose any of the options that you will like to allow or restrict. If you want to allow, click on that option. If you want to restrict, uncheck that option. Provide the password. Remember this password is case sensitive. Press OK. Reconfirm your password. Press OK. And now since we have already applied cell level protection, we can see that when I select this total, I can't view my formula. And when I click on this formula bar, a pop-up message is also appeared on my screen. However, when I write any value inside my these three cells which are allowed for the users like 12, 15 and 27, it is generating the result and also restricting the formula in the formula bar. If this tutorial has upskill yourself in Microsoft Excel, do share it with your friends and family and also let me know with your comment, subscribe and also press the bell icon for future notification. See you in the next tutorial. Happy learning.